Uh, we did find a couple of things in our search for the benefits of self-esteem. Higher self-esteem seems to bolster initiative. Basically, people with high self-esteem think they're right, they think they know what's what, uh, and so they're more, more likely to act on what they think. They have more confidence in their views, their opinions, their plans. Uh, this is true even when they're wrong. Uh, and so somebody who's pig-headed and is going to go down the wrong direction and not listen to anybody, well, that's a person with high self-esteem too. But in general, I think initiative is a good thing. And so that is one genuine benefit of high self-esteem. People with low self-esteem, in contrast, they just don't have the same faith in themselves. They're not sure, they're not confident, uh, they don't know they're right, they'll do what other people tell them, they have trouble making up their mind what to do in the first place, they're full of uh, self-doubts. People with high self-esteem th think they, they typically know what's right, and for better or worse, but again, I think mostly for the better. So they act on what they think is best, they're more willing to try again if they fail, they're more willing to reject somebody else telling them what to do if they're part of a group and they think the group is doing the wrong thing. They're more willing to speak up, uh, even though everyone else is saying, let's do this. The high self-esteem person is more willing to say, no, I think this is wrong, we should do something else. Low self-esteem will keep their mouth shut. So, uh, bottom line, initiative was one of the uh, real advantages of self-esteem uh, that emerged.